Welcome to my first tutorial and my second YouTube video. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to show you guys how to load brushes into PSP. Now, there's different ways that you can make brushes, like for example, drawing them yourself or whatnot. But let's say you have a brush, I think I already loaded that one, a brush you need to load into PSP and you don't know how to do it. Well, you've come to the right place. First, you open your image in PSP. I'm going to open this one. This is just my first example. There's three. Uh, some brushes, not many, not all, of course, come like this where it's just one brush one page, you know, one window. In this case, you just go to File, Export, Custom Brush, and you save it. I'm going to save this as Vector 4, because I have a whole bunch of vectors already. And you press OK, and that's it. You have a brush. You can close that, and let me show you what the brush looks like. It went from not so nice to really nice. Look at that. Look look how raw that looks. Actually, it looks really... I like that brush. <laughs> First time I've seen it. Okay. Give me a break. Okay. The second way... Not way, but... The other way you would need to load a brush is when it is in this type of format which is when the maker or distributor of the brush just puts it all into one page in that case you're going to need to go to your magic wand actually you're going to use a free selection hand tool you're going to make sure it is point to point add um, I feather it. You don't have to. That's just me. Then you click around the brush. I'm going to cut off a little piece there because just because you really don't want to click more than you have to. Just try to get, you know, all of the the brush. Then you go to File, Export Custom Brush. And you're going to see the preview here. You see how I'm on one page, but it only shows the brush I have selected. That's all you need. Then you name your file and OK. You right click sometimes what I tend to do is I'll just delete it while well, it's selected let me just go back just delete it so that I know I've already loaded that brush so I can go on to the next one and do the same thing oh smart okay so you just select it, file, export, custom brush, name it, whatever you want to name it, and that's it. You just keep doing that for every single brush. Um, another way, which is really just to make your own brushes, let's say you have a, a quote or, which is what I'm going to use, or a picture yeah you can make pictures into brushes or when I they don't really look as nice you know they I find they look kind of weird but whatever it's not the point let's just say you want to make something like this into a brush why who knows let's just say you do um, first things first if you save it like this the color is going to make it so it looks kind of weird as a brush. So the first thing I do is go to adjust, hue saturation, colorize. 
you're going to go 0, 0, and it's going to turn gray. Then you're going to go back to adjust, brightness and contrast, brightness slash contrast. And you're going to adjust the settings. You want it to be as dark as possible, but still legible. So I'll probably put... Let me see. Brightness. Let's still come up. Okay, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have to do it just to start gray for now. Sometimes you just can't really go black, but black is the best color for brushes unless you're going for a more light effect. If you want a light brush, gray is fine. If you want a dark brush, black is the preferred um, color. Then you go to File, Export, Custom Brush. And we're going to put Name It, and then OK. And then you can close this. No. OK. Then you go to your brushes. Let's see. Go to Sparkle, Sparkle, I just made these, there you go, some sparkles, okay, and let's look at the quote brush I just made, right here, you see this was a bad example because the, um, unless, well whatever, um, the shadow on it is what really messed it up as a brush, so this wouldn't have made a good brush anyway. But you get the idea. Well, this has been a tutorial by Tati at Sporadic Notations. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If so, comment, comment, comment. Um, more tutorials to come. Thank you.